This morning, the family of a protester shot and killed by law enforcement responds to a newly released autopsy. Manuel Piaz Teran was killed in January at the future site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Now, it's a place critics call Cop City. The latest autopsy from the DeKalb County Medical Examiner shows Piaz Teran had been shot 57 times. Now, 57 gunshot wounds, rather. Now, police have said Piasteren was shot after shooting at a state trooper. An independent autopsy showed Piasteren was seated with his arms out in front of their body. However, according to the autopsy, it was impossible to tell if Piasteren had been holding a gun. Piasteren's family called the autopsy results devastating. The family attorney also released a statement saying in part, quote, we cannot even begin to determine what happened on the morning of January 18th until the GBI releases its investigation. Our Liza Lucas joining us in the studio right now to dig a little deeper into this. Liza, so the findings from this autopsy comes as we heard Mayor Andre Dickens yesterday insisting to still build this public safety training facility despite all the pushback. Yeah, there's been a lot of contention. This continues to be a source of controversy, but the mayor saying that he has those plans and those plans will continue to move forward, citing the need for permanent training facilities for Atlanta police and fire. Now, critics opposed to the site continue to argue that it underscores the militarization of police and is cumbersome for those who live nearby. Just because it's approved, it doesn't mean it's something that the community desires, nor does it mean that it's going to do the work that is intended for the city. Now that criticism followed the first meeting of a task force for the training site. Mayor Dickens continues to insist those voices do not represent the majority. The mayor joined by dozens of community leaders, including former Atlanta mayor and ambassador Andrew Young, who you see right there. He says he has devoted his life to fight militarization of police, and he supports the need for public safety training resources despite controversy. We're going to be out front. And that means we're going to be cussed out and blamed until it works. Now, 11 Alive learned that the mayor's task force for the project expected to report back to him in August. You can find our ongoing coverage of this controversy all on 11alive.com.